What should Leaf fans be thinking about on this Christmas week to start? Three losses in a row following the tremendous run. Is there a sense of uneasiness because of the schedule ahead? Or is that what people will, will accuse the media of just trying to stoke a fire and create a story? I don't know. Uh, you can't be comfortable looking at the schedule, that's for sure. I mean, it's it's going to be a long ride for them with the World Juniors taking over the building. Um, and we saw, certainly over the weekend, a lot of the bad, or the last three games, a lot of the bad elements back in their game. And again, not being able to find a way to overcome those bad elements. I mean, Philadelphia took the foot off the pedal on Saturday night and still had 45 shots. I mean, that was appalling. Their defensive zone coverage, not hanging it entirely on the defense, although you saw the back of number three many, many times when you look at the highlight reel from that game. But their defensive zone coverage was just abysmal. And it, the effort in their side of the, on their side around the red line The last second goal by Patrick Kane awful. last night was one of those <clears throat> oh, I know. inexcusable on so many fronts. Yeah, yeah. four-tenths of a second left. And you, Cody Franson doesn't compete for the puck. Bozak thinks the period's over, doesn't come back to cover... For Steve, bad I, pinch. You, you know, I, I also think that you, you, you're asked what the Leaf fans should think. I know the organization would hope fans and media have perspective, which you have to keep it in perspective. Before the last three losses, they were 10 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. And really, by and large, as we have one game before Christmas, Leaf fans should be happy with the season so far. But the problem is, it's a very fragile state because they've seen this act far too often. And uh, the 18 wheeler going off the road mm -hmm. a few years ago, that was Brian Burke's era. Then other ways, one was at least a seventh game collapse against the Boston Bruins. But last year, same thing. And this whole thing about banking points, and last year it wasn't enough. So you're wondering, again, have you banked enough points? And does this three-game losing streak become like what happened to Calgary or Vancouver or you know, other teams out there? When it, when it goes south, uh, you got you got to corral it sooner rather than later, and they haven't after three games. Is this not a perfect opportunity for this group, though? Like just laying there and wait that they can – look at something that's a big challenge, this road trip, and the way they're going in on it, on the three-game losing streak, and step up after what they've been through the last couple of years. I mean, this, is, this is a chance to shove it down everybody's throat. This is a chance to, to put a stop to all the naysayers and, and end that, uh, or put, a, put that 18-wheeler off a cliff up on the shelf, and you don't have to reference that anymore. I, I really think it's a, it's well, a golden opportunity. No, for but them. it is. But I don't even think they should worry about the fans or whatever. You just want to go by your history. Like I, I think the players are correct that they bear too much of the brunt or the burden about haven't won a Stanley Cup since '67, have only been in the playoffs once in the last ten years. Well, you know, pretty well all the roster can say, well, I wasn't here ten years ago. They all can say that. I certainly wasn't alive in 1967. So don't dump all that on me. But the last couple of years, and there's granted, there's a lot of new players this year or last year from the previous years, that is on them. That's on the recent team. And that's something they don't need to stick it to the new, uh, the, the say, new sayers, whatever. They just got to basically um, do it and get to the finish line for game 82. But this core has been together during these, these massive stumbles. Guaranteed. <clears throat> And they've been through it. So have you learned anything? Have you grown as a group? Have you matured as, as an individual? Well, the only way you're going to find out is they have to prove it. They have to show it. And to your point, Darren, it's, it's a great opportunity for them to step up and say, we are different. And, you know, Gord, you're absolutely right. They don't have to worry about 1967. They don't have to worry about 10 years ago. But your core group on this team, your leadership group, and your core group has been there through – from the 18 wheeler on and and they're always going to be doubted and fairly doubted until they step up and get the job done simple as that don't point the finger at anybody else don't react to people uh saying that you have to step up and prove it to us because that's the situation you've created nobody else's fault you know it's a real strange phenomenon as well they've they've won a disproportionate number of games by three goals and they've lost a disproportionate number of games by three or more goals. It's it's uh, it's unlike Edmonton or a few. Uh, well, the Anaheim Ducks were on a tear where they like every game was a one goal victory for a while. And it's, so it's weird. It's kind of like the Leafs when they're very good, they're very good. When they're not, they've well, been very bad. Well, what are they as a team? Because when you go through that, what was it, ten one and one streak <clears throat> stretch? Rather, a lot of people were looking at it and saying, "Well, you got outshot X number of nights, therefore you were dodging bullets." And 
you had to come back from deficits, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what are they really as a team? Do we know? Well, that's what it sounds like last year. See, that that's a concern. I thought the big difference this year is the balance scoring up front. They found that yeah. again like they had that in the lockout shortened season, where last year it was one line scored or the goaltender stood on his head. And it seemed you had more different ways you were winning, and it seemed like you were making success, maybe small steps defensively, but then – you look at these last three games and people start to think, wow, these, these just weren't little losses. I mean, these were kind of memories of last year and the last 25 games.